Hey guys, Brad coming at you here with a, uh, told you my next video would be a new PC announcement. So I've been watching the Blue Jackets a lot the last, I'd say three years. It's actually probably become my second favorite sport behind the NFL over the course of that time. Because let's face it, the NBA, it ends the same way every year. You already know who's going to be there, you know, <laughs> you know, so I've lost kind of interest in the NBA. My team's tanking, you know, not, I don't care that they're not good. Because, like, there's a difference between, like, the Dolphins not being very good or rebuilding, and then there's tanking. The Bulls are actually just trying to lose. <laughs> like, Markin in one game hit six straight shots. They went and set them on the bench. They are literally just trying to lose. So, I just, yeah, NBA for me is done until that changes. And then the same team, the Warriors are always there. LeBron was always there. That'll, that'll at least be different. No LeBron. But, yeah, and baseball, I'm just not that into. I mean, I can, you know, I'll watch it occasionally. I'm just not that into it. It's just, it bores me. It does. And I'm a guy who likes golf. Masters this week. What's up? But baseball just, like, I was watching an extra inning game last week, and I was bored. That should not be the case. But it was just like, can something happen? You know, I mean, baseball is just not for me, I guess. Um, it's small doses. Like, I can watch a couple innings, and then I'm like, okay. You know, it just doesn't do it for me. Um, so, yeah, I urge you guys, if you never really gave hockey a chance, watch it for a few weeks, and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. You know, get to learn the rules, get to learn – You'll probably enjoy it because it's back and forth, or it is not boring. So maybe if you like the love the baseball, maybe you won't like the hockey because maybe it's too fast for you. I don't know, but and like hockey overtime in the regular season, explosive. You won't be getting bored watching that. So yeah. So anyways, my new PC announcement: I'm going to be collecting Columbus Blue Jackets. That's right. Brad is now collecting hockey. Watch out. So we're going to start with, I have, I think, about eight cards to show you so far. And I've got some coming in and whatnot, but I think i got eight here to show you so far. We'll start with two guys that aren't on the team anymore, but still play in the NHL. This guy, I think, was a first-round pick for us in 06. Plays for the Avs now, so you'll see him in the playoffs. Out of 0910, the cup, numbered 41 of 75, Derek Broussard patch autograph. So I'm going to be looking. Obviously, I want him in the Blue Jackets uni, and I want on card autos. And I love patches, so you know if I can find. And hockey's affordable, to be honest with you. Compared to the other sports, you know, outside of just, you know, your Connor McDavid, your Wayne Gretzky, you know, like the. Rare rookies, you know, that sell for a ton. Overall, hockey is affordable. Like this, nice card, solid player. He's not like an all-star. This is $15 out of a high-end product. Nice patch auto. I'll pay 15 bucks for that. So that was sweet. And from the same guy, same seller, he had this $14.15 the cup. Limited logos, patch autograph of Ryan Johansson, who is now a Predator. We actually traded him for Seth Jones. So it was one of those rare trades that worked out for both teams. Because I love me some Seth Jones, who sadly, I think only has one card autograph in a Blue Jackets uni, and it's a duel with Alexander Winberg. Hopefully they put him in all his stuffs and predators. But uh, nonetheless, Ryan Johansson, very good center. Now for the Preds. But yeah, those are two guys no longer on the Blue Jackets, but good players. Just traded away over time. And then now this next one, you can call him, I guess, Mr. Blue Jacket. He's our best player of all time. Um, Soon to probably be passed by another here in a couple years, but... All-time leading scorer for the Blue Jackets. This is 0607. 0607 the cup. Signature patch autograph. 
of Rick Nash. Which I believe actually dealt with head injuries later in his career after he left the Blue Jackets. So his best year is definitely Blue Jackets. Cam Atkinson actually tied his single season scoring, goal scoring. So, But, yeah, very nice. Shame, he was one of those great players on crappy teams forever. You know, so he'll never get probably the national recognition, but he was a really good player. Like I said, that's before I watched religiously, but I still would watch occasionally. But yeah, our teams really sucked back then. So he was one of the few bright spots. So very nice card. Nice chunky patch. You know, I love the patches. And then now to some current guys. Now, this one. I had to get creative with because he obviously we just got him at the trade deadline. And so all of his stuff is basically avalanche uniform. So I had to find something because he's obviously not going to have blue jacket stuff that was like kind of neutral. So I found a card where he's just in Canadian uniform and there's no mention of a team on the card. It's just team Canada. It's out of a, uh, 1516 SP Authentic. It's the Great White Norse subset of Matt Duchesne. Nice on card auto. Very cool. I don't think this was numbered. No, not numbered. But I doubt there's a whole bunch of them. Great White North. So I thought that was like, okay, I can live with that. It's got a beautiful autograph. Perfect sig. So, yeah. So, maybe he'll have something in Blue Jackets in the future. Maybe we'll resign it. Maybe we don't. I don't know. But I thought that was a good compromise, the best I could do. Because I didn't want him in an abs uniform, you know. So, that was pretty sick. And I guess you could say this is the first PC. This is the first Blue Jacket hit I've ever had. About two months ago, Black Diamond came out, and Pierre-Luc Dubois had rookie updates and the current year autographs. Well, I was lucky enough in an $8 break to hit the rookie update autograph from Black Diamond. The rookie signatures, Pierre-Luc Dubois, which... He's a 20-year-old center, already been in the league two years, scored 27 this year, like 20, 21 last year. So his rookie patch auto stuff is really expensive. You know how I said hockey's pretty affordable? In that case, his rookie patch auto is just too much money. I'm not going to pay it. So that'll do for now. That's something uh, maybe in the future I'll look for patch autos of, maybe second-year stuff this year if he has them in cup or something. But I actually hit that in an $8 break, and it was the rookie update. So, yeah, he's a promising young player. Sick. So, yeah, that was actually a group break kit. Like I said, was, but whenever that product came out, it was about two months ago maybe. And then this next one, kind of what in the middle of the year kind of started to derail our season a little bit until we caught fire at the end was an injury by this guy. Still out. You know, in hockey, they don't really disclose the injury, but I think he's having problems with his back again. But this is actually a rookie year card. It doesn't have the rookie symbol. But it's limited logos from 1314, the cup. Numbered one of 50 of Ryan Murray, who was having his best season because he was a high pick. He's having a great season next to Seth Jones. They were doing a really good job together, and he got hurt. And for a few weeks, we just – the defense went down the crapper, man. It's still inconsistent. But, yeah, I never would have thought I would have said a couple of years ago, oh, we really miss Ryan Murray. But he was having his best season finally. But the problem with Ryan Murray is staying healthy. He is literally hurt every year. But that's a sick card. I actually like this better than the true RPA, the look of it. So, 
Very sick. Nice chunky, chunky patch. And one of my favorite RPAs, because it's basically reminds me of Immaculate. It's an acetate patch auto of one of the hottest goal scorers here the last few months. He's had like 20-something goals since the first of the year. Oliver Bjorkstrand from 1516 Premier. Rookie patch autograph. On card. It's got an acetate finish on it. Three color. You know, obviously they're not as desirable as the cup. But I actually prefer the RPAs over Premier. Like, that looks awesome. So, yeah, like I said, he's been playing really well here the last couple months. And last but not least, soon to be, I think he'll end up being our all-time leading goal scorer here in a few years. This is out of 1718, the Cup Limited Logos. Mr. Cam Atkinson. And, like, give you an example of, like, I feel like I got this for $30. A guy who scored 40 goals. <laughs> Excuse me. Jumbo patch autograph out of the cup for 30 bucks. Yes, please. So there you go. That's the cards I got in so far. I've got like a Bobrovsky coming in, obviously. I've got a Jenner RPA, Josh Anderson RPA coming in here pretty soon. So I got some other stuff coming in. This is stuff I've over the last you know, month and a half, two months have been putting together. It's something I thought about at the beginning of last year, but it was like, I'm one of those people, if I'm actually going to PC it, I'm going, you know, I'm not just going to be like, oh, and then in two months, not want to PC it anymore. I'm not one of those guys. So I wanted to make sure it was something I actually wanted to do, and I've enjoyed picking them up. And uh, like I said, the Marino stuff, Marino and Pippin stuff lately, man. Um, I think – uh was it Michael Jericho? He was saying how Johnny Bench stuff is just like it seems like it's randomly gone up, and Marino stuff like nice Marino stuff, and this is a good thing because I obviously have a lot of it. Like, uh, like I was looking at an immaculate thing that went for one seventy last time, so that's what I was around when I was looking to pay. It went for two hundred forty six dollars, and I'm like. And that's like the norm for most things. It, like his stuff has just gone up. Like his nice stuff. Now you can still get like some of the sticker auto stuff. And, but you know, a lot of the stuff I'm attracted to has really skyrocketed. So those pickups have been, I've actually tried to make an offer and a couple that I've wanted. But like I said, stuff jumped in price. And then Pippin stuff, you know, you know how that is. Because he doesn't sign now hardly at all. So his value just keeps going up. And if you try to get the old upper deck stuff, yeah, I tried that. Thought I put in a legit offer, lost it by $150. That gives you an idea. <laughs> I was like, holy moly. So this is something affordable. It's not like it's cheap, but it's like affordable. You can get nice stuff. Like this is out of, you know, premium products like the cup and it's premier and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't pay more than $30 for any of the stuff you saw. I think the Nash was 30 the Atkinson was 30 And those were the two most expensive. So I'll take that all day. So, yeah, that's the new PC. If you have any nice blue jacket stuff, again, I'm not looking for, like, all the scrubs that didn't pan out. You know, I don't want that stuff, you know. But, yeah, if you have any nice blue jackets especially on-card item. It'll have to be on-card autos. There's a few guys that don't have autos, like Marcus Nudabara. Maybe I'll try to find like a PSA 10 Young Gun or something of them. You know, something like that. I'll have to see with guys like that. But, yeah, I'm trying to get, you know, kind of one of everyone. And then as I see stuff, obviously I'll pick up multiples of each player. But, yeah, there you go. It's my new PC. So, like I said, it's been a long time since I've had a new PC. So, pretty much my whole YouTube career, I've had the same two things. So, there you go. If you watch this, God bless you. Bye-bye.